Hello, hello! My name is Arcade, and I'm one of the founders and creative directors at Neon Giant. We're a very small studio of 11 people located in Sweden, but we have very big ambitions with our first game, The Ascent. And I'm here to tell you more about it while we play a bit of two-player co-op. Right now, we're in Cluster 13, one of the safe areas in a giant arcology on the planet Veles. In this world, everything is run by mega corporations, and Cluster 13 is no different. But in the beginning of the game, something odd happens, and it's up to us to find out what. The Ascent is an action RPG, so we both have characters that we have customized according to our preferences in playstyle and aesthetics. Amongst other things, we've spec'd our armor, weapons, cybernetic augmentations that grant abilities, cyber decks for hacking, and hairstyles and colors to look cool. You can get more of this stuff by uh, exploring the world, taking it from defeated enemies, completing missions and side missions, and of course, buying it at the various vendors. In a cyberpunk world like this, the new characters you meet can be in a bit of a grey area in terms of morality, as most people are looking after their own best interest. But, as long as they align with your goals, that's fine. We're about to head out on a mission given to us by one of these guys, Stackboss Poon. He needs us to provide security for a secret meeting that's about to happen. And please keep in mind that the game is still very much in development and not representative of the final quality. We feel there is so much more that can be done with games like this. And we looked at games we've worked on previously outside of this genre. And we don't see why we couldn't bring a living world, custom cameras, cutscenes and stuff like that to this game. So we did. We like to say that the world is the main character of the game, and that's why we put so much effort into having civilians using items in the world, getting scared when there's violence around, and having plenty of destruction in the environment, to have the world respond to your actions. We also brought verticality into the world design and shooting. Instead of it being a flat game where you always shoot the thing closest to you, you can also shoot low and high. Shooting high makes it easier to stagger enemies, and you can hide behind anything that will work as a cover and shoot over it. And the cool thing with this is that enemies can do the same thing, so all of a sudden we have a cover system. This in turn gives you way more choices on how to play. All of these features make for a better and richer player experience. And I'm just gonna say it, verticality adds depth the gameplay. The game is coming out in 2021 and I am so freaking excited to say that it will be available with Game Pass on PC and consoles at launch. We're still working hard to cram as much awesomeness in there as we can before it's time to let it loose in the wild and we are aiming for that glorious 4k 60 fps. We have so much more stuff to show you and I look forward to doing exactly that but later. Please keep an eye out for more news, follow our twitter at AscentTheGame and keep being awesome. And to you I say thank you Tack och hej.